Alright guys, so welcome back to another tier list feature on the channel. This is Kevin from FTA Prodigy. So for this edition, we will be reviewing and ranking the best and worst stations on your Metronord Railroad. So a couple days back, I did do one edition for the Long Island Railroad. There was a lot of comments and the viewers did like what they see. And so there were also a couple of suggestions coming from one particular viewer, as you can see in this comment here. It's coming from Artist Enthusiast, I believe that's his name. He's saying, you know, you should give it a shot with Metronor tier list and give your thoughts on um, some stations on that specific railroad. And so with that in mind, I will be doing that. Because lately, you know, there's nothing else that I've been thinking of. I was going to do a real funny segment, but since I've been a little bit busy with stuff, so I just went ahead and uh, do this tier list. So with that in mind, let's get just straight to it. So once again, this uh, tier list is always broken down into five different categories. Of course, the best one would be amazing. And the last and the worst would be horrible. The one in the middle, of course, average. And then the ones in between would be good and disappointing. So with that in mind, I do believe there could be a couple of stations that could get amazing. There could be a lot that could get good. Some could get average. And only a few, in my opinion, would probably get either disappointing or horrible. So with that, let's get to it right now. And so with that, let's start off with Austining Station on the Hudson Line. So this is a station that I did back in October, from what I believe of 2020. I did feature the ambassador and the face of the railroad in Railfan 89 in that station tour and as well as others on the Metro North because you will likely see him in those specific station tours over so Austining. You'll notice that it has two island platforms. It's an amazing overpass. Uh, it unites, of course, both uh, north and southbound, uh, you know, trains and you know there is a lot of features there that i did like about the station the uh, there were a couple of things that i remember were there so in this case like way hubs a lot of destination displays there were a lot of benches the lighting poles were also really good the speakers yeah they were okay and you're gonna notice that at that station at Austining, the tvms were actually in the street level of the station so to be specific more towards the entrances of the overpass so that was just something that i caught unique about that Austin station and other than that when it comes down to the actual platform itself i believe it was in good terms uh there wasn't really that much complaints on my end with Austin. and so with that in mind i will go ahead and give Austin good with that specific rating so the next one is fairfield metro now this station will likely get a very good rating on my end because uh, for one thing, this station was actually renovated or actually done recently in these last couple of years. I don't know if it was uh, around the 2010 era where this station was made, but Fairfield Metro is actually one of the newest stations on uh, New Haven Line and as well as for West Haven. So for Fairfield Metro, I do remember that when I went that time in June 2018, unfortunately the video got blocked because of copyright. You guys know that in the past I used to put a lot of actual music, not, you know, copyright free and those that they provide on YouTube. But I actually put in, you know, copyright music in the past so that, you know, the videos could not only stand out, but of course the music could also give a feel to the actual video itself. For Fail Through Metro, unfortunately that, that video has been blocked. And so more than likely, I'll have to actually do a station tour in that station sometime in the future. I'm not sure when. But getting back to this station, everything is absolutely great. Overpass, amazing. I don't remember if there were elevators at that station. I don't think there was. And if there is, then even better. Platform was great. Canopy, absolutely amazing. Accessibility was also there. Everything in that station, I would have to say, in my opinion, is phenomenal. There is really no complaints from my end when it comes down to Fairfield Metro. It's one of the stations that, in my opinion, does stand out on the New Haven line. So with that, I'm going to give Fairfield Metro amazing. Again, this is a new station. Everything, when it comes down to the features at Fairfield Metro, outstanding. And if I were to give a rating at that station, it'll probably be over 90% because that's how good it is. So the next one is White Plains. White Plains was the station that I did recently, but for White Plains, I actually did a station update. Now for this specific station on the Harlem line, it has gotten so much improvement with aesthetics, with features and added amenities too. Uh, I 
did see that there was immense improvement on the platform in the waiting area so in this case like in the station building or in the street uh, portion of this white plane station they're fixing it up completely it's looking like a world-class station in my opinion um i don't even think there's going to be any other station on the metro north which will probably be on par with white planes by the time it's done it's just looking so great you guys saw that station update that i did there once again back in december everything is looking out amazing in the platform i believe there is an entrance not only to um the underground portion of the station or i believe the upper hand portion of it but you're going to notice that there's also a food stand in the platform on the station so that caught my eye and that was something that i found actually very surprising the other station that i remember has something like that is bridgeport but in this case bridgeport you would have to actually walk inside the waiting room in order to access that um to access you know the food and all those type of things so white planes no complaints at all it's going to be one of major stations that i would more than likely give over 95 percent if someone is going to say oh you know it should be good average or even disappointing you guys must be out of your minds because when i went there everything is just looking better there is nothing in my point of view that is looking bad at white plains this station is probably going to get more than likely one of the biggest and uh, perhaps one of the best ratings in metro north era when it comes down to ratings so as you can see right here already i mean this is the third station that i did and look at the overall percentages it's looking great already three are above the good and of course in the amazing range so the next one is brewster brewster is a very simplistic type of a station now if i were to remember how that station looks like though i believe it was only an island platform it did have an elevator from what i assume it had an overpass uh there was a lot of station signs there now for a waiting hub i'm trying to remember if there actually was a waiting hub i do not remember if there was but staircases definitely there was there was staircases platform it looked pretty good lighting also good and I feel like it's a station that is sort of in the middle of things because, again, not that much excitement in it. But if I had to give my overall point of view of Brewster, then I will more than likely give it good because not that much complaints to it. I don't know if I introduced the ratings when I did that specific station, but Brewster overall is looking good there is no deficiencies there's nothing bad at that station everything is practically good so for brewster i'll have to give that a good rating and it'll belong in that specific category the next one new canaan new canaan is actually a station that again i don't know how in the world i did this uh, station tour i remember in the past what i used to do was just whip out my phone and then i used to just walk all around the station like i would just record the station you know walk around it uh you would hear no sounds you would hear no music playing absolutely nothing it'll just be me with the phone walking around and that's about it and all you'll see is just the station and of course ambient sounds uh in the background new canaan um i forgot if this station was street level or if there was actually a platform at the station i don't remember that and if there was a platform at that station that fine um it's not really surprising i don't even know if there is a station house there now when i was there it was closed but because that was a weekend so i don't know if during the week the station house is actually open but nothing impressive of that station is really simple um but at least it's not bad so i wouldn't give it good i wouldn't get it amazing either so what i have to put new canaan is actually in the middle because look, I mean, there's nothing that stands out at New Canaan, nothing that surprises me, and to be fair, it wouldn't be disappointing and it wouldn't be horrible either, so I would have to probably put it in the middle for New Canaan Station. Alright, so the next one is Spring Valley. Now, there is going to probably be a debate in the comment section of this video because many of you will say that Spring Valley, of course, part of the Pascal Valley line. Is part of New Jersey Transit and then there will be other people saying that this station is part of Metro North but the real deal is where is the station located so for what I remember 
This was in New York, I think. Spring Valley, New York. Because I don't think Spring Valley is in New Jersey. Spring Valley is in New York State. Now, when you go to Spring Valley, first of all, kiss yourself good luck. Pray to God that nothing is going to happen to you. Because at that station, you're going to be bored. You're going to be lost out of your mind. And you're going to want to leave that area as soon as possible. When I went there back in 2018, I made sure that that was also my last time that, that I was there. Because there was a lot of weirdos. There were a lot of people screaming out loud. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if there was a party that day or a block party. I'm not sure what the case may be. But it was in my opinion a very sketchy area i didn't really like it if you were to walk i think west of the station you would see a bus terminal which could connect you to various bus lines that could take you to other parts of the country which i find very interesting in a very weird area like spring valley but getting to the station i don't want to bash the area but getting to the station i don't really like it it's too simple it's just a platform i believe there's a staircase that you just walk outside nothing really surprising and I don't really like the station in the first place. So, with that said, not that much remarks. Didn't really like it. Not the best of experiences in my opinion. So, it will belong where it should belong. And that is in the horrible section. It is also the first to get that specific rating. So, there you go. Spring Valley, last place. And again, I, will, I, I still believe that there's going to be a debate in the comment section. Oh, it's part of New Jersey Transit. Oh, wait, but it's also Metro North. I, and I believe the diesel, it says something Metro North, and it's those old ones that should retire. And the interesting is, I think the cap cars, whatever you call those things, the, the, it says New Jersey Transit. So I'm just like, what, what? what is this? Why are they sharing equipment? I don't understand. Okay, so the next one is Mount Vernon West. Mount Vernon West, part of the Harlem line. I went there in 2018, in December. It was really cold. It also actually snowed the time that I actually started recording that Mount Vernon West uh, station tour. And actually that same day I also did Mount Vernon East, which I also believe I included in this uh, tier list. So for Mount Vernon West, it's it's alright. I mean, the platform is okay. There could be some improvements. I did remember that I had to give some deductions to the platform. I wasn't really looking that good. Uh, the station house, because in that station, I do believe they had one. That didn't really look good. I, I didn't really like the lighting of it. Uh, the elevators were too old. I also noticed that the elevators also smelled like piss, which is something that is typical in the MTA, not not only in the University Transit subway, but as well as for the railroads. I don't know why it always smells like piss. Now, the one thing is for sure, more than likely people tie to take a piss there. And th that's probably the most disgusting thing ever, but each time that I go in any elevator in, in, in the subway or whatever the case may be. It just always smells like that. So I'm just like, it cannot be me because I I take a shower every day, you know, I put on cologne and all these type of things. So it's it's not it's not me. I don't think it's me. What I believe is more than likely and you know, we're all humans. If we can't hold it then bam, it has to go out somewhere of course, right? But overall this station didn't impress me. Lighting was bad. Um, there could be more potential to it because it's it's actually a pretty good station. The the station house, I believe, had a connection to like the B line bus, and there used to be a ticket office there too. And vending machines were also around there, but it, it lacked a lot of quality, which I didn't like. And I feel like for a station like Mount Vernon West, which I'm not sure if there's more than likely high ridership, but for a station like that, I just feel like it deserves a little bit better. Like, I do like that that station is elevated, it has two platforms, and I also believe the canopy also makes up uh, 50 to 60% of the station. Because if you walk towards the end on both platforms, you'll notice that there is no canopies there. So that's one thing that we'll have to take a look out for. But for Mount Vernon West, honestly, it could do better than that. And it will go on the disappointing section. Alright, so the next one is... Yankees East 153rd Street on the Hudson Line. So actually, as you can see over here, there was a viewer that already sort of raided the station even before this video that I was going to make is going to be posted. So there was a viewer that I believe left a comment in the post that I did earlier this morning. He said that, oh, Yankees East 153rd is a simple station, but at the same time, it provides a lot of connections to, what is it, to buses, to trains, all these sorts of things. Now, what he didn't mention was the overall aesthetics, the overall look 
of this uh, Yankees East 153rd station. He didn't mention that. And by the way, I think it, this viewer's name is Transit Productions, or I think. Because there's another viewer that has a similar name. So I want so I don't want to confuse them both. All I know is it's a viewer that has a blue icon. That that that's from what I know. And a quick shout out, of course. And for the, the viewer that offered this suggestion for the Metro North tier list. Once again, shout out to YouTube. I just think yeah, he's he's one hundred fifty third street is a phenomenal station. There's their um their overpass is literally the entrance to I'm not 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 Yankee Stadium, but it's it's an entrance to the street that actually leads you to Yankee Stadium. The platforms were amazing. Uh, lighting was pretty good. Uh, lots of destination displays. Um, the the wedding hubs also looked pretty good. I don't think there was any deficiencies on that. And again, there wasn't anything that did that didn't caught my attention that I would have to say it, it should get a bad a bad result when it comes down to these rating features or feature ratings. Elevators, I believe there were also elevators there too. I do believe on both sides that they have it. And they also worked very well too. Um, now, if you were to go to what I would probably say is the mezzanine, they had vending machines, they had the TVMs, of course, and there was just a lot of security there. So that's just only that. At that trade station, God knows what happens there. But Yankees East 153rd Street is a good station. Now, if I were to do the Mets... On Long Island Road, the thing is the most horrible train station that I've seen in my life. Not only does that make Mets fans feel bad, but it's a station that's so unwelcoming. It's horrible. Like I went there, I believe at that era, I I used to do the ratings out of ten, and I probably gave the Mets station a two out of ten, which would probably be like a twenty percent out of a hundred. And then I believe I gave the Yankees uh, East One Hundred Third Street station over an 8 out of 10 so that probably was like an 85 or something so you see the difference there right who knows what the case may be here but for Mets Willis Wait Station on the Port Washington line that deserves way way better there and at that station no accessibility nothing uh the canopies at, at the Mets Willis Point Station also looks pretty bad and I'm sorry that I'm bringing up Long Island River to this video but it's because the Yankees have a train station and the Mets have a train station. If you were to compare those two, it's it's basically a night and day difference. But for Yankees station, good. There's nothing bad about it. There's nothing bad about it. And then you guys could, you know, give your thoughts in the comment section because that's the whole purpose of having one there in the first place. Next up is West Haven on the New Haven line. West Haven station is, again, one of those many new train stations that the New Haven line uh, got. That's the best way I can describe it. So for West Haven, I do remember that the columns were made out of brick. It had a, it had a canopy that also looked pretty good. The platform also looked outstanding. Lighting, I don't remember if it was fluorescent or amber lights. But it was a station that looked modernistic. I don't think it's a station that, I would have to say, has to go from the average category to below. No, it's a station that, in my opinion, it looked pretty good. There wasn't that much issues with it. I feel like it would be a good experience for people to go there because it's it's a it's a welcoming station. There's a lot of good stuff about it. And again, if I were to give West Haven an honest rating, I would probably have to give it amazing. Because this station not only is it modernistic, but it has it has its qualities and it's looking good. So for West Haven, I'll have to probably give that amazing. Again, it's one of the two newer stations that you have on the um, on the New Haven, such as, of course, Fairfield, Metro, and West Haven. Next one up is Terrytown on the Hudson line. Terrytown is a very nice station, and it's a very nice area for those that want to walk around, go to a restaurant, hang out, of course. And I believe there's a park around the station, which, of course, makes things even better. Not only Terrytown has that, Austin also has that, I notice. Very, very nice places to go. Not only to, of course, hang out, but, of course, go to restaurants. Uh, no complaints for Terrytown. Good platform. Very nice station house. I remember the Metro North sign was in gold. So that should tell you everything about the station. Um, I also think there were railings on one of the portions of the, of the station. There was an overpass too. That overpass looked also good. Mm, lighting also pretty good. Again, no complaints coming from Terrytown. I feel like it's a station that should get also a good rating. So there you go. So how many did we did so far? We did three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is already half of the tier list. And you can see already seven out of the ten have gotten 
over an over average so in this case in the good and the amazing quality seven out of ten are in the good and amazing quality so i should say that this tier list is looking good for metro north so the problem is this you guys notice that the pictures were cropped to like a square shape because unfortunately that's how tier maker uh reduces the resolution if you like crop stuff up you know from maps and all that so if you guys can't see what the stations are i'll just go ahead and tell you what they are so over here if you follow the mouse i believe it has a yellow trail this is woodlawn that's marble hill that's what's sake that's poughkeepsie that's danbury that's malvern east peakskill melrose harrison and bridgeport so the next one is woodlawn uh, not a good station not a good station i i remember when i went there it it, it looked like those stations that you see on the um, on the Long Island River, like Hollis and uh, what do you call it? Oh, not Floral Park, but something like that. Hollis, I, I didn't like Woodlawn. There's a lot of stuff that disappointed me. Um, it wasn't made right. I feel like there could be some improvements to it. I feel like they could make a canopy at that station. They could add a couple of amenities if they do have it. It just looks really simple. It doesn't look like a railroad station. It looks more of like a subway station. And mind you, Woodlawn, I don't know how far. Woodlawn Metro North Station is from Woodlawn 4 Station. If I had to guess, it's probably 25 minutes walking, but if it's less than that, then you guys can let me know. But Woodlawn, again, disappointing. I don't really like how it looks. It deserves better than that. So, as it goes, I'll just simply put it in the disappointing section. Next one up is Marble Hill on the Hudson Line. This is a station that is pretty good. This is a station that has... From what I remember, an overpass that leads you to the island platform that Marble Hill has. Now, when you go to Marble Hill, you'll notice that it's a very nice scenic look. You have the bridge. I forgot what, what bridge that is. That Also, you see the number one line go through. But that's a, that's a nice bridge. I like it. The station itself, again, surprisingly, the area is not that good. But the station itself, I like that, you know, there was a lot of accessibility, of course. I don't remember if there was an elevator at that station. If there was, then even better. But there's nothing that I would say in this station would disappoint me. It looks good. It looks average. There's nothing bad about it. Lighting is actually pretty good. I believe they use fluorescent lights. Platform, nothing wrong. Uh, lots of benches, once again. Waiting hub is also there, too. TVMs, I think, also were good. And so, not that much complaints for me. And so, I would have to probably put that in average section marble hill next one up is wasaic again it's those other types of stations that look really simple wasaic is an is a one platform station you guys remember when i went there back in 2018 or was that 2017 now i don't know if that was in 2017 or 2018 but that was a long time ago it was a long time ago and i remember that was when the the videos were like a movie long which I regret doing, stuff like that. That's why you see now the tour is being less than an hour because that's what it should get. Unless the station is very complex that it requires for me to do more analysis than usual. So again, um, was we'll like, eh, nah, I, I didn't really like that station. It, it's too simple, even though, you know, barely people go on it. But it's, it's a good standing. I believe it was a station that was renovated from what I remember. There wasn't nothing that was lacking there, but it was just too simple. But at least, it's best to say that it probably wouldn't be in the disappointing or in the horrible section. It'll probably be something above that. So maybe average, maybe good, maybe amazing. Now, it's not amazing, and it's not good either. It's a very simple stage, not that much to offer, but at least it's an okay hand. So for what's sake, I will give that average. Okay, so next up is Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie is the terminus of the... Hudson Line. Now, at that station, you're gonna notice that you'll also see Amtrak. You'll either see the Empire Corridor or the Maple Leaf Line. Either one of them. And then, of course, you have another one that goes to Chicago, too. Again, specifically, if you take the train at Poughkeepsie, you will see Amtrak. Now, the entrance to the station house, that thing looks phenomenal. It looks very nice. It has an antique look. It When it leads you to the overpass, you can see um, vending machines. You'll see the TVMs too. The station itself, I like it. It's a it's a it's a good one, and I feel like it's it's a station that more than likely also got amenities too. 
based on the demand of the station maybe it has high ridership or who knows what the case might be for Poughkeepsie but it will definitely not get average disappointing nor horrible it's a good station and again it was at that same time where again I whipped out my camera and I was just recording the station all over I didn't speak I didn't talk I didn't do absolutely nothing I was just walking around with the camera recording the actual station itself all right Poughkeepsie good that I believe is what it's gonna get next up is Danbury um, I always forget if this station is an island platform or if it's just like a single platform I, I, I just honestly forgot how it looks like I don't know if it's either one but I just know that it look also too simple too I didn't really like it it could have done a better job obviously but at the same time you also have to acknowledge that this is a this is a diesel branch so um, more than likely if it's a diesel branch then it's a one platform station uh, again it's it's those it's those stations that you would have to say will it get disappointing or, or will it get average or what's the deal here who knows actually to be honest this, this one could be a little bit hard because there was nothing to show for it. it's it's almost as similar as Wasake when it comes down to design because both Wasake and Danbury again have only just one platform and there isn't really that much to it and there's just too many simple things and for accessibility I do remember there was a long trail there was a long trail and it's a very boring area as well but we, we're not supposed to be doing that we're supposed to be in the station itself Danbury average that's what I'll get next up is Mount Vernon East Mount Vernon East. No, it's not in the water because you see a bunch of blue stuff. No, the station is not underwater. It's on the New Haven line after Pelham. Mount Vernon East. Surprisingly, once again, the area, really not the best. It's really not the best. But we have to talk about the station. I really like that station. Two platforms, of course, side platforms. Um, there, you, there you can see the transition, I think, from third rail to AC, or in this case, third rail to Panagraph Power. It's, it's a good looking station, lots of accessibility, lots of displays, very good railings, great platform. Uh, elevators are also good, lots of entrances too, that's one thing that I also notice. Again, surprisingly for a station that has uh, not the best of an area, I will definitely have to say that Mount Vernon East is impressive for me. It's a very good station. Nothing would disappoint me about that station because there isn't. And I remember at that time when we went for the first time, we actually saw a possum. I believe it was on the side of the platform. So for Mount Vernon East, it's going to get a good rating. Next up is a Peak Skill. It's those stations that I was going to do a station tour, but since they was so hot that day, and we just decided to do a real fanning segment instead. That was last year in July of 2020. It's a very hot day. I remember that day. It felt like 94 degrees. So... I had no energy to do the tour. I was just like, you know what? Let's just do a rail fanning segment and let's call it a day. Peak skill, two platforms. Um, pretty good, I would have to say. Now, did it have an overpass? I don't remember if it had one. Now, if it did, then I, I might have missed it, but I don't recall there being one. I don't recall. And if there was, then okay fine not that much excitement to it to be honest it looks very simple but at the same time it's in good standing it's in good standing and you know what it's at least there's nothing that i would have to say right now is lacking in terms of quality or aesthetics it just looks fine to me so for peak skill again no surprises it'll probably get an average now if you're wondering what would be amazing that would be 90 and above. For good, it'll probably be 80 and above. For average, I'll probably have to say it would be like around 75 and above. Disappointing would be like around 65 and above. And horrible would just be in bad terms. So in this case, lower than 55%. And now where we're getting to is the last three stations. So Melrose, I think, is part of, what do you call it? The Harlem Line? It's those train stations that... You barely have people going on it in the first race because it has really low ridership. If it wasn't for the city ticket and the weekend, I don't believe people would probably go on that. Because, of course, you also have to look, look at the demographics of the area of Melrose. It obviously would lie within the low-income communities. 
and for minerals they had to adapt the way to attract the people that live within that area to take that train station because as far as I know Melrose is not really a high ridership like of a station um, getting to this uh, Melrose station I don't remember if it had an overpass the overpass actually was the street and again I also forgot the street name which kind of sucks uh, unfortunately the day that I actually went to Melrose that day uh, I heard a gunshots and that was bad because how did I know that in the first place? After I left, it it was on the news that, oh, somewhere near that area of, of the Bronx, there was a, a shooting. And, you know, stuff happened. I was like, you know, thank God that I just went there, recorded, and went home. I more than likely stayed there for just 20 minutes, and then I just left. Because I, myself, already knew that that station, I'm sorry, that that area wasn't really the best. But getting to the station, it's it's disappointing because there is just nothing to look at um and i don't even know if they renovated the station it probably would fulfill definitely the category of disappointing because um again it's it's not really a greeting type of a station there wasn't things that stood out in terms of feature upgrades there was nothing that caught my attention. It just looked like a very simple train station. Same goes for Woodlawn. So with that in mind, it'll probably be on par and it will belong on the disappointing section. So we're down to the last two. We're down to actually two stations on the New Haven line. So you know what's crazy? A lot of stations on the New Haven line got at least over average. So that means over 75% in the ratings in this tier list. So for... Harrison, mind you, this is a station that I did actually really recently. Harrison, I would have to say, is a very good station. There is a lot of good things about this Harrison station. I really liked it. There was absolutely no complaints about it. And I personally feel like for Harrison, it's going to get a good rating. It's not going to get a bad rating. There's no way in hell it's going to be an horrible. It's not going to be in disappointing. Neither will it be an average. So with that in mind, again, th there will probably be a very close decision when it comes down to Harrison and Bridgeport. In my opinion, there is one that's better than the other, definitely. There's definitely one of them that's way better than the other. So for Harrison, definitely it would get a good rating. So last up is Bridgeport on the New Haven line. This station, again, it's those other stations that are surrounded by an area that's not really the best i heard bridgeport is not a good area but in terms of the station in terms of the station bridgeport is fantastic everything about that station is very good the waiting room since of course at the same time it's also part of amtrak maybe that's why the station is also good in the first place there's a lot of maintenance there i notice it's looking great i did forget what we gave it as an average but as far as I know, it's a station that has to be on the top. It has to be a very good rating. It's not going to get good. And to me, to be honest, Bridgeport will get amazing. That's what it's going to get. Because there also was upgrades to the features there. I did notice. They also listed this in one of the forums I forgot. But Bridgeport is, is those good stations to visit on the New Haven line. What is that station? What is Fairfield Metro? What is West Haven? Those are stations that stand out. They, that look very good. Harrison, it's a good station, but it didn't get um, amenities that probably I would probably say would get a superior rating. Harrison is good. Harrison is not amazing. That's the difference here. If you compare Bridgeport and Harrison, Bridgeport is way better. Bridgeport is just way better. And you're going to see when you go there yourself one day. So with that in mind guys, that will conclude this tier list for Metro North Station. So once again, for amazing, it's Fairfield Metro, Wide Plains on the Harlem Line, West Haven, and Bridgeport. Now there could be a possibility where there could be a toss up in, in that category. And more than likely, I feel like it's gonna be Bridgeport. Cause there'll probably be people say, oh, you know, there could be stuff there that's not really good. Uh, it's, I don't know why you put it up there. That was probably too generous. Uh, there could be stuff that be filling. No. What I personally think of that Bridgeport station, it looks pretty good. 
Now for good. Um, Austin, Brewster, Yankees, Terrytown, Poughkeepsie, Mount Vernon East, and Harrison. I could guarantee you right now, the the base will probably be Yankees, Brewster, and more than likely, Poughkeepsie. That that I'll probably say would be those stations that will probably be in the base will say, oh, you know, it shouldn't be getting good, it should be getting average. There's things that are feeling there. No, in my opinion, all those stations that are there are in good terms, and it'll stay within that category. For average, New Canaan, Marble Hill, Wasaic, Danbury, and Peekskill. They belong. They all belong in that um, category. They're they're not great. There's nothing fantastic about those stations, but they're all in good standing. At least all the features are stable. There's no deteriorations. There is no deficiencies there for me to say, okay, you know what? We'll probably have to give it a, a lower rating. No, no, no. It's looking good there. Now, for disappointing, Mount Vernon West, Woodlawn, and Melrose. At least you're going to see that in those three stations, there are deficiencies. There are deficiencies that you'll have to say, okay, you know what? It's not going to get, it's not going to get over 75%. So, it obviously would have to be something lower than that. And so, there you go. That's what I would say Woodlawn, Mount Vernon West, and a Melrose station would belong on. It will probably belong within that specific station. They could do better than that, but I just feel that they belong within that category. For the last one, Spring Valley, again, it belongs there. Do not tell me, oh, you know, it should be either disappointing or maybe average. The station is bad. You, don't, you barely have anything at that station. There's nothing there. It's the platform and that's it. And and when you walk out there, do good luck. Like I said, bring your cross, uh, say your prayers, and make sure that you're you are going there on the perfect day and not in the nighttime. Because I heard that station, and inclusively that area, not good, not good at all. It's best to avoid it unless you actually go there to either visit someone or for work or whatever the case may be. But uh, again, I don't like that station. It, it doesn't deserve to be over disappointing or average. So with that in mind, that will conclude this tier list from Regional Railroad. And so with that in mind, let me um, let me know what you guys think about the ratings here. And with that in mind, that that there's always a comment section so you guys could give your thoughts. So with that, that does it. That wraps it up. Stay tuned for more videos. And of course, thanks for watching.